we forget everything. <laughs> so I made the new set. Uh, let me just say, the job he's done everywhere he's been, we were going way back, back in the days when we were both assistant coaches. And uh, you know, what I've seen and how he's done it, you know, I hope you grab stuff today. Again, you know, look around and talk a little bit about that. The reason they moved me up, first of all, Tells me the NBA, he's getting three more rebounds a game. He says, because 
blacked out two days. Like simple stuff like that. That when you think about my teens, I was 23 years old and had an opportunity to learn. And they learned from a guy who I'm also learning from Lee Smith. I'm, I'm learning from everybody that he has learned from. And I've been blessed because of that. Um, I look at him now and what he's done and how he's done it. The kids he's gotten back is incredible. Um, what I'm doing right now with my team and how we're playing, I want to throw some things at you. I want to open this up a little bit. Um, where the game is going, it's all about points per possession. How do you get points per possession? You, first of all, you try to shoot layups. You try to shoot free throws. You try to get the free throw line. That's one. That's your highest percentage. Layups are your second highest percentage. Post ups or open threes. The shot no one's taking that mid level shot now. So you're seeing the river three. They're also, it's all about rotations now. How can I get a team to rotation? What do I do to take two guys out the bar when they have to rotate? Which means it's all about spacing. And what will happen is it starts in the NBA, you know, go to college, and then it goes to high school and all the same stuff. Right now, it's all about spacing and shooting. Um, I'm looking at what we're trying to do, and I'll show you some stuff. It's all based on that. Points for possession. Now, we were the most efficient team in college basketball last year, but I think throughout the NCAA tournament, I think Illinois overtook us because how they played, which was happy for Jay, great guy, did a great job of coaching. But we were the most efficient team based on how do we get the line, how do we get the layups, how do we get the post ups, how do we get open threes, and mid level.
It's going to be quick and accurate. One more. One more. All right, now, the reason we cut, you know, go there, go there. The reason we cut is because maybe this guy's not a three-point shooter, or they close out hard, and sometimes this guy will take that shot there. He'll, he can do that, and that's why we have a cut through so we can. I got it.
step across. Get your hip on it. Get your hip on it. Now get it open. Square up. Get the ball behind. And avoid that. You gotta avoid it.
comparison. Um, so it was a different team. Uh, the party Johnson, Carl Tapp, and the Willie Collins were really big. But we used dribble drive last year some because we had three cars. The issue is what everybody's going to do. We talk very much. Right now, because the streets have more than the new rules, 30 seconds, and no close to guards. Guards are at a premium now. If you have really good guards, you're going to have a really good team. Now, obviously, you have to be tough and have that stuff. But here, here are some basic stuff I'll show you just real quick. Give me two guys here. Where's the guy who did the defense down at the floor? No, the defense is the top. Okay, you're going to be behind. Is there a point guard here? Come on. Alright, so we'll put the two point guards here. You sit down. Let me have this. Okay. This is what we're doing. And in Drill Drive, he's in the mid point, which is going on that sideline. Right there. He's on the elbow, because we want to have as much drill as he can. I don't want to, I don't want to off the elbow. If he can pass in the middle, it's even better.
same idea. Go it. Replace me. I'm going to go down here again. Okay, so on all this stuff that you're seeing, when the pastor replaces, so go ahead over.
compares him. But he's exactly the same guy now. He had no hair to be like the dark people. Now he's not. And he refuses to paint. He's not painting. He's not painting. But he's the same guy, and the lessons I learned from him are what I'm carrying on now. I hope that helps you.